Unit 5, Lesson 4. Medicine, from leeches to lasers. What do lasers, leeches, tree bark, and old bread have in common? They're all things that people use to make medicine or to help sick people feel better. Throughout history, people have searched for ways to live healthier and better lives. As early as 8000 BC, people were experimenting with methods of helping sick people. Today, we have very modern technology, yet we continue to look for ways to improve medicine and our system of health care. The history of medicine extends back thousands of years. We know that from the earliest times, people used plants as medicine. Scientists have also found evidence that people experimented with surgery 10,000 years ago. People haven't always gone to doctors to get medical help. In Egypt, around 3000 BC, people went to their priests when they felt sick. That was because many Egyptians believed that the gods made people sick when they were angry with them. Common remedies in Egypt at this time included garlic and onions to prevent epidemics, and moldy bread to heal wounds. Around this time, however, people in Egypt were also learning more about sanitation. Archaeologists there have found the ruins of elaborate bathrooms and sewerage systems. In Greece, in 410 BC, a man named Hippocrates concluded that people became sick for natural reasons, not because the gods were angry. He also believed that there was a connection between diet and health. During his time, doctors prescribed massage, special diets, and baths as medical treatments for their patients. In China and other Asian countries, doctors developed acupuncture as a method of treating sickness and pain. Acupuncture uses needles to help the human body fight pain and disease. Doctors have used this method for thousands of years, and many still use it today. During the Middle Ages, 400 to 1500 AD, a few medical schools and hospitals opened in Europe. At this time, however, doctors considered themselves to be primarily observers of patients. For them, surgery was a menial task, something a barber should do. One common medical treatment during the Middle Ages was the use of leeches to remove bad blood from people. Doctors thought this bloodletting was good for many illnesses. Unfortunately, many plagues spread through Europe at that time. Doctors could not cure these diseases, and one quarter of the population of Europe died. It didn't help that in the Middle Ages, many people believed that bathing could be fatal. It wasn't uncommon for people to bathe just once a year. After the invention of the printing press in the mid-15th century, books on health and medicine became available. Leonardo da Vinci's drawings of the human body, including all the muscles, helped doctors tremendously. Understanding the human body helped doctors treat sicknesses and make people feel better. In the 19th and 20th centuries, many remarkable discoveries were made in medicine. These discoveries saved the lives of millions of people around the world. For example, in 1895, a German doctor named Röntgen developed the X-ray machine. In 1928, the English scientist, Sir Alexander Fleming, discovered penicillin, the first antibiotic. Fleming discovered penicillin growing in mold on an old piece of bread. Great advances in the technology of medicine continue to be made. Today, doctors can save people's lives by giving them a new heart or a new kidney. Hospitals now have large computers and machines that help doctors diagnose medical problems. Although modern medicine is making many new treatments possible, doctors are learning that some of the old ways are useful too. For example, doctors are now paying more attention to the connection between diet and health. Even the leech has found a place in modern medicine. In certain kinds of surgery, up-to-date surgeons are using leeches to prevent a patient's arteries from getting plugged up. Some people believe that nature has all of the cures for human problems. 
Others believe that technology is more helpful. It just might be that together, tradition and technology will help people everywhere live better and healthier lives.